Members of Waterford's squad had displayed symptoms of the coronavirus last week, but their tests for COVID-19 came back negative. So the Blues were all clear for action as they faced Munster rivals Cork City at the weekend. Sabuale at that far side. He's got McCourt to aim at in the middle. Tries the little reverse ball to Coote. Plays it across the middle. Smith! Oh, couldn't get the shot down. That was a chance for Waterford. First real chance too. Ball played across the area to Matt Smith. Snatched at it just a little bit. Sobrale, giant of a man, offers himself as the overlap. O'Connor's in the centre and he's aimed at O'Connor! Well, they've just cleared the Cork City crossbar by about a foot. Well, that was brilliant stuff from Sobrale. The one touch and then laid the ball off to O'Connor in the middle. Actually, Daryl Murphy in the first half. And a shot, but just down below our commentary position here. Daryl Murphy, the ex Irish international, is sitting in the stands. Confirmation at half time that he's actually signed. And it's a chance for Waterford. And he just can't force the ball to the net. And the referee is claiming, or being claimed up for a, a penalty. Michael O'Connor, quite vociferous in his appeals. Curtis Byrne, well, all he had to do really was to slide it to an empty net. But he fluffed his lines in front of goal and the appeals for a penalty waved away. Ball into the centre towards Murphy. Bone got his head to that. Just diverted it away from the danger zone. Back to Galvin. Galvin into... A little corridor of uncertainty there, just inside the six-yard box, headed away by Bone. Oh, rattled off the crossbar by the substitute, Dylan McGlade. And that's the nearest we come to a goal. McGlade come on as a substitute in the second half, and that's his first real touch. And he hammered it away with Murphy well beaten, and it smacked off the crossbar from the edge of the area. Wilson. Wilson, still Wilson. Here's Coote, header. Oh, and how did that stay out? I think it came off the defender last, Rory Hurley. And Mark McNulty feels the pain. Well, what an opportunity that was for Waterford. The ball in from Wilson. Great piece of skill from Smith. And it did, it bounced off. Hurley last and into the grateful arms of the Cork City goalkeeper. All the players lined up on the edge of the penalty area. Griffin's ball is in. It's headed clear. That should be that. And the referee calls the end of the contest. Well, the nearest we come to a goal was in the second half. So it ends here at the RSC in stalemate. Waterford nil, Cork City nil. <laughs> Ultimately, it's just we're disappointed, you know. We can't be greedy either. It's been a tough week and um, we've come back, back late to the party in terms of our conditioning work and that, but we still think it was um, maybe a few points lost, you know. There was nothing in the whole game. I think they had a couple of really, you know, goal-line clearances we had, but we hit the bar and won over and a couple of scary ones, so pretty even result, I would say, in the end.